Weather headlines here for this Wednesday as we talk about your national coast to coast forecast at Weatherbug. While our severe threat does continue today, we're talking some heavy rainfall along this particular boundary. Quite a few flooding reports already in the Midwest and heading up into the Great Lakes region, but some late Octoberish weather. We've been talking about this now over the last several days, starting to move into the high plains. In fact, daytime highs yesterday were very cool yesterday post front. 56 in Bismarck, 64 in Billings, looking at some 70s in Salt Lake and Denver. Still a little cooler with some monsoon moisture there in Phoenix at 92. And then some very warm weather in the midsection of the nation, 90s, even close to 100 yesterday in the Wichita region, above average there, but uh, big changes in our forecast, as I mentioned today. That front will be dropping farther south. So Chicago and Denver getting into some cooler weather, but Minneapolis and Billings, anywhere from 15 to almost 30 degrees below average. Daytim highs are only into the 40s and 50s. And looking at some snowfall potential, in fact, today and tomorrow, as you get along the front range of the Rockies, we'll be covering that in our uh, weather bug severe weather outlook. So do uh, check that out. 94 degrees in uh, Phoenix with some spotty showers and storms. And some of the storms within this corridor here in the Ohio Valley certainly could be a little on the strong to severe side. So here's our temperature trend. The front pushing east of the eastern seaboard by late this week. The cold air continues to just funnel south. So this is a pretty big cold air mass. In fact, on Thursday, daytime highs closing in on 40 degrees below average in Rapid City, seeing some snowfall in the Black Hills of South Dakota tomorrow. Friday, St. Louis, you'll be 15 degrees below average, and then by Saturday, still quite chilly across much of the region. Here's our severe threat again for this uh, Wednesday. St. Louis up to Detroit, Michigan, and then by Thursday, the severe threat shifting east.